G'day people, it's been a couple of weeks now since I put out the first video on the build of the English Scammer log truck, 1932, um, I've been a bit crook, but anyway in between we had the draw for the uh, the free plan offer and uh, Jim Little won it and I've put out a few feelers to try and get him to contact me by email, haven't done it yet, Jim if you're out there and you're watching in, please don't forget to send me your email address so that I can send you the plans now you can do that through my website if you like just look for the links underneath the video meantime this video will finish off the build and it's a great little truck um, let's see how it goes okay, kicking off from where we left it last time we flip the motor body over and attach a couple of steps underneath now for the turntable I just cut some a uh, circle using a hole saw out of 19 mil pine and took it over to the disc sander here. I just hold it up against it and it spins by itself and takes a nice chamfer off. And glue it up onto the tray back of the truck. Now I find that Australian dowel, 6 mil dowel particularly, is not round. So I'm just here using a drill, dowel in the drill, to trim it down. A bit, uh, make it fit the wheels a little bit better and then it's a case of glue up start to put them in. Don't forget to dry fit these wheels first so you don't get caught out with them not rotating properly or anything like that. We've got a few things to glue on here. One is the fuel tank, which is a piece of dowel. I've flattened it off on one side so that it'll have a surface to glue on. Now I need to put a cap on this and I've got a choice between one of these buttons or an axle peg. I actually think I'll use the axle peg, it's got a sort of beveled top on it and that looks a little bit more decorative. We have also got here a toolbox which gets glued over on this side and I've got a couple of wheels to put up here, for some reason it has two spare wheels. Um, rather than just dowel again, I'm, I never use these axle pegs as axles but they come in handy for things like this so it gives a little bit of a feature here for mounting on the back of the truck. Now the turntable on the back of the truck just needs to be drilled out a little bit so that the 6mm peg will go into there nice and easily later on. So there we have the truck body or the road tractor if you like. Now here I'm doing glue up of the uh, bearers for the wood on the back of the truck. Uh, I did them a little bit earlier in the piece in fact uh, while I was waiting for some other glue to dry using some she oak for a bit of contrast and just a matter of just a bit of light pressure until the glue sets up. Now moved on to the bogey, I love this bogey idea on the back of the trailer and it's just a matter of cutting the pieces to instruction which is very clear and uh, then gluing it all up and making sure everything's square and lined up. There are three holes to put in the bogey the outer two are for the axles and the middle ones for the bogey support. Uh, note that I'm using the fence as a guide there. That ensures consistent depth between the axle holes and the edge of the bogey. And the bogey support also needs a hole through it. Uh, moving on to a small hole for a plate underneath the front of the trailer just for the peg. Now it was a bit fiddly to put it all together but just following the clear instructions I glued up the pieces where they belonged and just waited a while for them to set. Uh, this is the back end of the trailer and you can see that bogey support underneath. Now the final assembly at the back end here, a couple of small pieces to attach and then to attach the bogey I used a piece of dowel through here which was a little bit shorter than the total width of the whole thing because I put a couple of, or uh, well, capped off the holes here with a couple of just wooden buttons hold it in place. Now finally attach the wheels and uh, once I'd done that I also used some slightly larger buttons in fact in all the wheels to create a bit of a hub in the middle, an axle hub. Uh, just gave them a little bit of a highlight there and here we have it. It's a fabulous little truck, really unique looking thing. It also comes with uh, plans from Peter Ashey for a couple of trailers. 
that will go on the back, alternative trailers, and you can look up his plan on his website for that. I'll leave the link in the description down below, and don't forget you can also join me on Facebook for updates between builds.